much to protect. You're afraid I'm going to expose you to your wife? It wasn't a robbery. Can you think of anyone who might want to harm you? Friends? Family? Or a woman you screwed? And discarded? Rick Hong here for Hollywood First Look Features. Today, I'm with Michael Ely, and we are talking his film, Fatal. I think I saw that you had a mini premiere for this the other night. How was that? Um, yeah, so there've been a couple screenings, um, a, a drive-in <laughs> at Snoop's compound. You know, it, the fact that he had a drive-in movie experience, um, you know, for this film, it was absolutely incredible because I just got into drive-in movies during COVID. You know, it, it was an incredible experience. My first time seeing the film on the big screen. Oh, and wow, so nice. I told everybody I know afterwards that, wow, this thing, because the first time I saw it was a link on my computer, but it was like, it played so well on that big screen. And, you know, just to see it so vividly, it was, um, it was, it was, it was just, it was everything I had hoped for, right? Um, so yeah, it, it's been it's been a journey. It's been a bit of a journey, but I, I I'm glad we got to do that. I'm glad we got to do it. We're making it work the best we can. What is it about this genre, this suspense thriller, that you like so much in producing? Man, it's it's every movie that you that you want to make, right? I mean, like I said earlier, I was talking like the best movie for me is when you talk into the screen, when you're on the edge <laughs> of your seat. Yeah. You think you know what's going on, but you don't. You're like, wait a minute, oh, I already know. They've done this so many times before. Why do they keep reinventing the wheel? And then it just takes you on a roller coaster ride and you don't know what's coming. And I think, you know, it's so fun. It's so sexy. It's electrifying. It's, I mean, you're on the edge of your seat the whole entire movie while you watch Hillary Swank and Michael Ely have this cat mouse game going on the whole entire film. You know what I mean? And it's so beautifully shot that you're almost, you're in it. You're in the ride with them. You're feeling it. You're like, oh my God, like I've been there before. You know what I mean? And I think those are the best movies too, when you can sit there and relate to everything that's going on in that movie. You know, this one simple mistake he made in Vegas, <laughs> changed everybody's life. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, no, I was actually thinking that with each character, they just keep getting themselves in deeper and deeper <laughs> and deeper. And it's not even the main characters too, it's all the side characters <laughs> and the choices that they make in the film. Yes, totally, right. Listen, you go down the rabbit hole. You know what happens when you go down the rabbit hole. Mr. and Mrs. Tyler, I'm Detective Valerie Quinlan. How was it working with her? Because I've never seen her in a role like this. When we shot the scene in Vegas, we were laying there, you know, in bed. <laughs> one of those things where I was like, you ever played a villain before? And she was like, once. But I don't think anybody saw that one. So, <laughs> so I was like, oh, okay. She was like, yeah. I was like, well, people are gonna see this and you're gonna be phenomenal. So I'm excited for you because because I don't think people were ready for you to be the villain. You know what I mean? And that's, and, and like for me, that was when I read the script, she was attached as the villain. I was like, yes, now I'll read the script because it's like Hilary Swank gets a chance to play the villain. I wanna see that. I want to see that. Well, speaking of Michael Ely, you know, he was in The Intruder. So is it those eyes? Is, and you guys even reference it in the film. Is it those eyes? Is it, does he hypnotize, does he hypnotize you both to say, hey, you know what? Put me in your next movie. I mean, <laughs> it's always the eyes. He got the eyes, the cheekbones. He got the full package, right? I mean, listen, the ladies love him, but he is truly one of the most talented actors that I know. You know, like I said, he can... He can do anything and, and he's super humble. You know, when we wrote this script, we're like, who better than Michael Ely? He's a household name in the African American community. He's proven himself in the box office over and over and over again. You know what I mean? And I think it's time for someone as at his caliber to go toe to toe with a Hillary Swank to showcase 
how talented in the same level that he's on as her. You know what I mean? And for her to be in our world as well, to, to, to showcase that is, it's never been done before. I feel like we did it a little bit with Intruder when we had Megan Good and Michael, and then we put Dennis Quaid. It's never household name, never been a psychotic, you know, right. Killer. You know what I mean? And then you put him with Megan Good and Michael Ely you have a great crossover commercial film, you know what I mean? That speaks to all audiences. We don't want to get wrapped up into this and that. We want to just showcase real talent with real stories that can speak to everybody. I was actually thinking only a two-time Oscar winner could pull off the Vegas scene where your character is kind of like shooting down Michael Ely, making fun of his game. So how was it shooting that? Because, you know, Michael Ely has like those eyes. <laughs> Michael Ely is game. You look up the station <laughs> in the dictionary and it says Michael Ely. Game. <laughs> so, um, you know, yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's it's a little manipulation of the camera that Dion, you know, just makes makes it all work. And, um, but I, I'm telling you right now, we all know that, you know, all the, 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 the beauty of Michael Ely, we know he has talent, but it's like, I, like Dion just reiterated, um, this is a, a performance of his that is gonna blow your mind. I mean, he's raw and he is real and um, working off of that is just, you know, a pure joy. I don't think that Michael Ely has any problems in his bachelor days of, you know, like having conversations with women, but she, you know, her character kind of, you know, knocks on you a little bit. So how much fun was it shooting that scene? You know, it's it's interesting because I could actually relate. I, I've been married for eight years now and <laughs> I have no game. Like it's like I, <laughs> I have to like be a character to really approach a woman now. And like all I could think of was Derek, you know, he's been married and you lose all of that swagger. It's you know, it's kind of fun and innocent to be like, I'm really out of practice. So, you know, I don't know. You wanna just dance? I mean I, I don't I don't know how to you know what I mean? Like and you lose a lot of that, you know you know, after being married, you just, you don't have to do it. You just, you're out of practice. It's a muscle and you lose that. And so, um, you know, unless you've been hitting on women throughout the entirety of your marriage, then perhaps you don't. <laughs> but I, that was the moment that I could, I could relate to Derek the most. And uh, it was a fun, awkward scene. And I think it, it, it's supposed to be awkward. Hey, if you do a third film of them, I'm definitely on board because that's why I signed up to watch this one as well. So congratulations I again. That. The movie is Fatal. You can check it out now. Until next time, I'm Rick Hong. And it cost me everything. Well, then you shouldn't have gone to Vegas. God, that thing's easy with you.